Hi, I'm Patrick Lin, Director of Photography of The First Incredibles. And I'm Robert Anderson, uh, lead layout artist on The Incredibles, and this is Pixar Scenes Explained. <laughs> Director of Photography on uh, animated films, we're basically in charge of camera and staging. And normally in a live action film, you know, you would do a light camera actions. But in computer animations, all those are sort of in reverse. So it's camera action lights. So as a lead layout artist, a large part of my job is actually helping to build out the scenes. Yeah, I think, you know, some of the camera actually feels really stiff, you know? <laughs> but I think back then, it's not really the... Style. Yeah, and we didn't have yeah. as many nice tools as we do now. So we have to add all that detail of the camera bouncing around and shaking. Here is definitely is the climax. And we do want to keep the camera moving to keep the energy going. At the last scene, uh, when they're facing the Omnibots, you know, you can see uh, on both ends are blocked by buildings. So, yeah, yeah. so, you so cannot, we don't see down so, forever. Yeah, so you can see, yeah. see down. So you basically have to hide a lot of those uh, perspective. So this is like a down view of what the city actually is. If you see there's a T-junction, is where most of the action take place. And we built the sequence like in about two and a half weeks. There's over like 140 shots, if I remember. What are you waiting for? A closer target, you got one shot! Incredibles is a very uh, effects heavy movie. This is the first film that we actually dip our hands into previsting some scenes before actually going into productions. Previs or pre-visualization is working with the sets team to figure out the, the overall space, how big is the city, and the relationship with the characters in that environment. So we don't know how oh, fast yeah. Dash runs. Yeah. If you really put him at 100 miles an hour, with this shot being like um, five seconds long, how big of a set do we need? And this pool, you know, um, at first was just a little reflecting pool. Because it's running so fast, we have to build it like bigger and bigger and bigger, and now it's like a whole lake. When we're in layout, we don't really have those uh, effects, such as when the Omnibots, every time he has, he has to take a step, we have to put in a marker down there uh, so that we know where there's a footprint and things, people are gonna fall down. The footprint is gonna push down mm -hmm. into the asphalt, right? Mm -hmm. And we didn't have anything, we just had a flat plane. Yeah. So we had to mark it so we yeah. knew where the characters, if they were running, would fall into a hole. I like the humors. I think it's just like the, the idea of the family fighting for like a TV remote control. I think it's just it's just just funny. Mom, I've got it. I've got the remote. I really do like the moment where Bob releases the claw and just that shot flying through and pulling back through the open hole in in the Omnipot was was super cool. Can't believe we got that done. We mm -hmm. had to make it incredible. I'm Robert Anderson. I'm Patrick Lin. Thank you for watching Pixar Scene Explained.